Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to check the storage on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's gonna be a really quick video. There's not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna check the storage on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Depending on how much you paid for your iPhone, they have varying levels of gigabytes storage available. So if you start to meet that threshold, the phone can start to slow down or it may prevent you from saving new pictures or videos. So if you wanna check the storage on your iPhone, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled right here through the iPhone settings app. It's this gray gear or wheel looking thing. It's nothing you need to download. It's already pre-installed on your iOS device. I'm gonna click there now. All right guys, I went ahead and clicked there and here is the settings dropdown menu. And if you wanna check the storage on your iPhone, what you wanna do is scroll down until you get to this section right here called general. Once again, it has a gray gear icon next to it. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next the general drop-down menu happens and what you wanna do is scroll down until you get to this section called iPhone storage. I'm gonna click there now. All right, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. And as you can see, my iPhone is calculating the storage available on my phone. All right, so it has finished calculating. So as you can see here at the top, this phone has 256 gigabytes total on the phone. Now that's going to be less or minus the iOS software that's installed. But as of right now, I've already used almost 157 gigabytes of data on this phone. So I have about 100 gigabytes still available. Yours is probably going to be different depending on if you have more or less storage that you paid for when you first bought this device. Also, if you look down a little bit further, it's going to give a list of apps that are using the most data on your iPhone. So you can go ahead and make those adjustments on those apps if you like. So that is how you can check the storage on your iPhone. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.